There are different types of treatment available for men who have prostate cancer. Doctors may offer hormone therapy. The goal is to reduce levels of male hormones to prevent them from reaching prostate cancer cells. It is one of the oldest and effective forms of treating aggressive prostate cancer. But are there risks? Here's tonight's Health Matters. So how have you been feeling since the last treatment? It's been really good. Every few months, I return to the urologist for testosterone replacement therapy. Testosterone declines as men age. It can cause irritability, prevents the building of muscle, and can deplete men of energy, focus, and sexual desire. Another little stick here. Dr. Parviz Kavusi has me turn on my side and places several time-release pellets in my hip. And this is what one pellet looks like. It's about the size of a grain of rice. Some men actually go to the doctor to be deprived of testosterone and other hormones known as androgens. For more than 60 years, androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, has been used to treat men with aggressive prostate cancer. It has shown to increase survival rates, especially when you look at the prostate cancer-specific survival. And that's why we really approach it one individual man at a time and we really only recommend it for those that are going to get benefit of survival with it over over the, the quality of life that they may be um, they may be compromising some on. The side effects of having low testosterone can kick in for these patients but there are also serious risks according to the Food and Drug Administration. It recently warned that ADT can cause heart attacks in some men. We do know that when men are on androgen deprivation, their bone mineral density decreases. They can be at risk for osteopenia and osteoporosis. And there was some concern about cardiovascular health or heart health. And there were some studies that indicated that perhaps men that were on androgen deprivation were at higher risk of mortality or death from heart attacks or heart events. But Dr. Cavusi says there are other new studies that show the rate of cardiac death was no different among patients who got ADT and those who didn't. So what I'll tell you is we've got good data on both sides um, that, that can make it a little bit more difficult when you're trying to make these hard decisions. But again, the important thing is to take each patient individually, counsel them appropriately, and help them make the best decision for their life. Cavusi says doctors always welcome second opinions because the more information a man has, the more power they have in their decision. According to the Journal of the American Medical Association, in trials of more than 4,000 men, the conclusion was that ADT was not associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular death and is still very effective in fighting prostate cancer.